welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Ignited Maripos. I am Nayana, today dealing with synthesis of triacylglycerols. The triacylglycerols synthesis takes place in liver, adipose tissue and some other tissues. The precursor of the triacylglycerols are glycerol, glucose and some other fatty acids. Mainly, if you see the structures of these glycerol and tri triglycerides, they get to know that the three, the three OH groups are replaced by three acyl groups. So, if, it, if you see the structures of these, we can easily make sure that it can be replaced by three acyl groups. This is what the pathway is. So uh, we we get to the we get to the pathway. Firstly, the glycerol is converted into the glycerol 3 phosphate by the enzyme glycerol kinase, where the ATP is used so that ATP is utilized and giving the ADP plus IP that is inorganic phosphate. You have to make sure that the glycerol kinase is not present in the liver. So this glycerol is converted into the triacyl glycerol in some other tissues. Glycerol is converted into glycerol 3 phosphate. Now the glycerol 3 phosphate will convert into the lysophosphatidic acid by the acyl transferase enzyme. How this acyl transferase enzyme acts? Here the acyl group will occupy the OH group of the glycerol 3 phosphate. Now see here this acyl group is there. It gets occupying the OH group of this and occupying here. Now the lysophosphatidic acid will convert into the phosphatidic acid by the same enzyme acyl transferase. Now the second acyl group will come and occupy the second OH group of the second carbon of the glycerol 3 phosphate. Like this the lysophosphatidic acid will convert into phosphatidic acid. We get to know that now the two acyl groups are transferring into the OH groups of the glycerol 3 phosphate and occupying the OH groups and becomes a phosphatidic acid. Now this phosphatidic acid will convert into diacylglycerol by the enzyme phosphatase. The phosphate is replaced by the H group. So it becomes diacylglycerol. Like this, the phosphatidic acid is converted into the diacylglycerol by the enzyme phosphatase. Now, the diacylglycerol will be converted into the triacylglycerol by another acyl group transferase. Now, the third acyl group come into the action and occupy the third OH group of the glycerol 3 phosphate and becomes triacylglycerol. See how the glycerol is converting to tri triacylglycerol. It is so easy if you see the structure of the glycerol and the triacylglycerol. In the name of the triacylglycerol only there is a given like three acyl groups are adding consequently by the enzymes that they are acting on the substrates. But here the glycerol kinase is absent in the liver. How do this happen in the liver and adipose tissue? This is the biggest question that arises. The glycerol kinase is absent and how it takes place in the liver and adipose tissue. So there is an another alternative thing like glucose is converted into diacetone phosphatase by glycolysis. So this dihydroxyacetone phosphate is an intermediate thing which acts, which is acting main, mainly and goes into the glycerol cycle for the formation of the triacylglycerols. By the glycolysis, dihydroxyacetone phosphate will get 
and it involves in the pathway of the glycerol for the synthesis of triacylglycerols. Like this, the glycerol 3 phosphate then converts into lysophosphatidic acid, then to the phosphatidic acid, and then to diacylglycerol, and at last it converts into the triacylglycerol. There is also presence of another method where the dihydroxyacetone phosphate will convert into one acyl dihydroxy acetone phosphate by the acetyl transferase enzyme where one of the acyl group will transfer to the first OH group of the dihydroxy acetone phosphate. Then it enters the cycle of the glycerol and converts into lysophosphatidic acid and then to the phosphatidic acid and then to the diacetylglycerol and then at last to the triacylglycerols. This is the main thing that happening in the other tissues, liver and adipose tissue. You know that uh, you have to be perfect at glycerol. Kinase is absent in the liver. It's a main thing that we have to be remembering for every time. Gly glycerol uh, kinase is not present in the liver. This is the main point. And if you see the structures, it will be very, very easy to understand the pathway and you will be it will be very very easy to understand the pathway and how the acyl groups are transferring one by one and the three acyl groups will transfer to the glycerol group that will be converted into triacyl triacyl glycerol